Well, the Environmental Protection Agency has awarded Michigan $129 million from the Climate Pollution Reduction Program. Much of that money will go to the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy, or EGLE. Here to tell us more about how that money will be used is Corey Connolly, EGLE's Chief Climate Officer. Thanks for being here tonight, Corey. Thanks for having me. So about $130 million, this is a lot of money we're talking about. The governor has said it will lower costs, create jobs, and protect clean air and water. Can you tell us a little bit about how that will all happen? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the program itself is um, funding to plan and then develop out priority climate strategies across the country. Uh, and we have in Michigan the My Healthy Climate Plan um, and EPA basically asked us what is the number one priority uh, and we competed against folks all over the country to receive one of 25 awards for this program. Um, what the program is going to do is provide um, incentives for communities to host large scale renewables across the state of Michigan, expanding a program that uh, the governor already included in last year's budget and we've started rolling out. Uh, there's $10 million to incentivize siting of renewables on brownfields and to develop pilots um, to really figure out how we reuse some of those properties for this purpose. Uh, and, and there are a number of other pieces to this. Uh, specifically, there's a strategic planning process that will help us think through exactly how do we get to those ambitious targets of 60% renewable energy by 2030 aligned with the governor's climate plan and to implement the legislation that came through um, this past fall. So when you talk about those towns uh, implementing renewables, what does that look like for the average Michigander? What might they see? Yeah, so in this is largely geared toward large scale projects. So big utility scale, wind, solar, energy storage projects. And it provides a $5,000 per megawatt incentive for communities. So they have the opportunity to receive additional revenue to go toward the, the needs of their community and, and kind of to help support whatever is most important in their community. So it's an incentive and, and a, a program to really get those large scale projects to build. The brownfield side of it is the part that's probably gonna be more in um, other parts of the state in, in urban areas. And then notably, and while we're here to talk about the 130 million about from EPA that we just got, Earlier this year, we also did receive $156 million from EPA for a solar for all program, which is going to be much more targeted at residential and community solar opportunities. Um, and so that, that is one to look out for as well. So I also mentioned uh, the governor says this will create jobs. What kind of jobs are we talking about? Is it around those specific renewable projects or, or what can people expect? Yeah, absolutely. So part of this funding includes workforce initiatives uh, specifically to help us build out the renewables at the pace that we need to build them. Um, we called for an uh, aggressive target in our climate plan, or an ambitious target, rather, in our climate plan of 60% renewables by 2030. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, and that's going to require a lot of jobs and a lot of workers. And um, this funding has included in it some workforce uh, funding that we'll be partnering with the Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity on. So you said we are on track, but well, I guess that's my question. Are we on track? Does a lot more need to happen to meet those goals? Yeah, a lot more does need to happen. That's exactly what this program from the EPA was, was saying, what is your biggest barrier to reaching your climate targets and ask states from all over the country and communities all over the country to submit their applications. And ours was one of 25 selected over out of over 300 um, applications and out of a $4.3 billion competition. Um, and we really think that we this is going to be a program that's going to help us really meet our targets and, and go as fast as is necessary based on climate and based on the commitments that the governor's made and that the legislature's made. All right. Corey Connolly from Eagle, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you.